This is a short bite episode of Homeschool Together. Hello and welcome to Homeschool Together Short Bite Edition. We got a little bit different thing this week, no games, but we do have a little bit of a curriculum review, kind of a unit study that we just got over with from Build Your Library, the winter holidays around the world. You know, so going into the holiday season here at the end of 2021, um, we kind of paused our normal curriculum. We stopped a lot of our math and reading stuff, you know, for the most part, and we kind of had a couple weeks off. Um, And well, we wanted to do something fun with our daughter and kind of keep the you know, excitement for the holidays um, on. And so we went ahead and did this little unit study from Build Your Library. Yep. So this unit study covers uh, winter solstice, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and Chinese New Year. Uh, so this is kind of a, it's a very loose unit study. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it says it could take anywhere from two to five weeks, depending on how much you want to go into it. Uh, for us, this was kind of our you know, holiday crazy time Mm -hmm. after between Thanksgiving and um, the end of the year when we knew that we just weren't going to be able to really continue our around the world uh, study, you know, in the same, with the same cadence and focus that we Mm -hmm. usually do because it's Christmas and that's crazy. Well, we had kind of a disjointed schedule. We were going to go see some family. We're going to be home. We're going to be away. Yeah, things were kind of just Go back to the family. Yeah, it was really disjointed. And so we really wanted, we didn't want that disjointed you know, this, that disjointed nature to impact our learning. So we just kind of stopped our around the world and yeah. we said, Hey, let's do this unit study that we got from Emily. Yeah. So we wanted to kind of go over this. Um, and just, you know, if this is something that you're interested in doing, um, with your learners, so you get kind of an idea uh, of what we think of it. Um, so there's uh, only a few required books for it. Basically for each holiday, there's a little you know, greeting about the holiday and an introduction based on a, a child who celebrates that holiday and, and what it's like for their family. Mm-hmm. And then there is a main reading book. Um, sometimes it's a, there, there's one book for like the winter solstice that's mm-hmm. a return of the light, um, 12 tales from around the world uh, for the winter solstice. So that's got lots of, that's a, a little bit thicker t- chapter type book, like like 12 chapters. It's kind of a folky story and you know yeah, our, got, our history with folk stuff. Is yeah. Slim. Folk stories are always kind of a mixed bag for us uh, as far as, I mean, they're, that's real. That That is the, um, a real folk story from a culture but oftentimes they can be very strange and they don't always connect with our learners. So folk stories are always a little hit and miss for us. Mm -hmm. Um, So, uh, but that would be an example of of a reader Uh, for Hanukkah and Christmas. There's a couple of smaller books that are more picture based. Um, And then there's some copy work to do uh, a few activities and some things to talk with your child about, you know, like what is the winter solstice and you know, who first celebrated it and, and how did they do that? And what are some traditions and things like that that you can talk about? Mm -hmm. Um, They define some vocabulary for your child and there is usually some activity pages. A couple, and, art, a couple art activities in that you can print off. And, right. A couple and art. There's, and there's a couple activities like uh, for Christmas, make the make a pine cone, cover it with peanut butter and bird seed and hang it out back. That kind of thing. <laughs> so just some, just some fun kind of holiday crafts and things. And um, there are some activity pages. And sometimes there will be a recipe to do for Hanukkah. There's a recipe for potato latkes, for example. So there's, there, there may be a recipe and then there's a couple of additional reading books. So that's the way that each one of the, um, segments is formulated. And, um, I, I thought kind of overall it was okay. Yeah, it was okay. I don't know that I'm like, I don't know that we would do it again, maybe next year or that we would be jumping to do it. Mm-hmm. There's only one main book recommended for each and then there's a couple of suggested um, extra readers. I kind of wanted to see more literature yeah. um, and a little bit more structure to well, the activities. And, and I know you went and got a few extra books from the library. So yeah, we did have I, I outfitted a ton of extra books on Christmas and Hanukkah, and the winter solstice. Um, we didn't get all the way to Chinese New Year yet because Chinese New Year is actually... Uh, at the end of January, 1st of February, I think this year. So uh, we, we'll still probably cover that when well, it comes up. Well, the funny thing is, I think in our around the world journey, you, you had just said that. Yeah, I think we're going to be like studying China when Chinese New Year happens. It's just going to be perfect. So yeah, yeah I think it's going to line up really well. Um, so overall, this was a really light study. Yeah, um, and that's kind of what we were looking for. We were kind of looking for that. I guess I just, I wanted, I wanted more books, more especially, books. you know, about Christmas and Hanukkah. 
especially there are a lot of books and you know, there's like three or four recommendations for extra books. I wanted, I wanted some more books Mm -hmm. and some more fun activities that we could do more fun ideas. Um, so I think this was a little lighter than I wanted. I wanted something that was, um, kind of just free form that we could take what we wanted and not do what we didn't because we were going to be really busy. Um, and we did do that, but I didn't feel like there was a lot to take from. Mm -hmm. I wanted, I wanted more, more options to choose from, Uh, you know, Oh, if your kids were feeling like they really wanted an outdoor activity, then there was something for them or they really wanted to do a craft. Then there was something for them there. I just wanted a little bit more. I guess I was a little bit disappointed in this one. I'm a big fan of Build Your Library and their uh, mm-hmm. main curriculum. But this one I was, I'm was, i a little meh on. Yeah. I'm actually a little meh. You know, from, from the standpoint of, you know, just decompressing, you know, because, you know, I did the work and stuff and, and with, with my daughter, um, you know, for me it was a nice breath of fresh air. We could kind of like calm it down. It was well, We didn't was really very do easy. a whole lot of it. Yeah. I just feel like we did some of it, but... Yeah. There wasn't a lot that really compelled us to do it. Yeah. It was more just a break. Yeah, yeah, it was it was kind of a break, but also it wasn't a lot of work in the sense that like, you know, if you wanted to go through all five of the holidays in there, it wouldn't take you more than two weeks and that would be like stretching it. Right. Like you could right. get if, through yeah, it. Yeah, if all. you only use the resources that are in this unit yeah. study, right. It it wouldn't it wouldn't take very long. You're yeah. absolutely right. So I think this is great because this is time that we were not going to do anything else with yeah. that. We really felt like we wouldn't be able to keep up with our normal cadence of stuff. So I think for that, it's great. I guess what I would say, my recommendation is not to take time specifically for this. Yeah. I thought with our around the world journey that this winter holidays around the world was going to be like, Oh great. This is going to fit in really nicely because we're already kind of in this global study. And I just felt like it was, it was very light and I, I wanted more out of it. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think I would do this one again. So yeah. I'm a little disappointed to say that because I usually am very pro build your library stuff. Yeah. yeah this, this one, one was wasn't just, my favorite. Yeah. Just a little bit of a miss, but you know, you know, check it out, check out the, uh, the sample that's online, maybe see the book list that they have. And if it's something that interests you, maybe you could try it. But yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say it was bad. I just, I was wanting a little bit more from yeah. it. Um, I wanted more to choose from, I guess, from it. Probably, and yeah. the, it, we weren't compelled to use as much of it as I thought we would have. Um, it was mm. sitting there and it was kind of like, oh, I mean, we're joking about the pine cone <laughs> thing, right? You know, like, oh, buy those pine cones from the store. And I did end up getting them and we still have not put them together with the bird seed, and probably won't. <laughs> you know, it just it was one of those things where it was like, it was the activities were not exciting enough to really for us sure. to be interested in pursuing them. Um, we, you know, we, we just started Blossom and Roots uh, Kinder Space, and our daughter was much more excited about the activities and things that were contained within that. I just, this one kind of didn't take off for us. And maybe our daughter's not quite old enough, and, and you know, yeah. at six, um, maybe she'll get, she'd get into this more later, but I, I wanted mm-hmm. more books out of it and more activities. Yeah, I think, I think the, the lack of books, I think, was the, probably the biggest glaring thing because, you right. know, Unless you have to fill in those books yourself, it's just there's just not that much there. Yeah, there there's not. I mean, the on the winter solstice, you got only uh, one recommended book, and then there's a couple of mm-hmm. alternates. And I think Christmas, it's one main book and maybe four alternates. Mm-hmm. So I, you know, all those books that you read that you really enjoy that you're thinking of, it's like, oh boy, this was really nice. It was a break, and we read all these great books about Christmas and Hanukkah and solstice. Those are all books that I found. Yeah, and right. just add it in. They're not from this. So I think it's a little bit, um, our memory's a little bit distorted of it. Yeah, I got the Ariel Plus version. I, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I looked at it and I was like, well, I have this one book, but it's, you know, we want more than, we want some, some pictures. You know, the the, yeah, right. the Folktales books has, has no pictures. So I was like, well, we want something with, you know, picture books. So I ended up going out and getting a bunch of extra books. Yeah. And it was that kind of thing. So I, I think for this one, I don't. I think this one has kind of a neutral, yep. neutral us, recommendation yeah. from us. Yep. Uh, not not bad, not good, just kind of meh. Yep. All right. So that's our review, and we hope this is helpful to you if you're considering doing this one. Winter holidays around the world from Build Your Library. Thanks so much for joining us today and making us a part of your homeschool journey. Please engage with us on social media. Join our Homeschool Together podcast group on Facebook and find us at Homeschool Together podcast on Instagram. 
We'd love to hear your feedback, questions, and recommendations. Until next time. Happy homeschooling!